What do people think of whenever they think of you? You don't want to be like the one person I'm thinking of. You don't want to be that one person who jumps around all the time and has the million things instead of the one thing. Everybody, Chris Bello here. And in today's episode, we are going to be talking about what is your one thing. I have mentioned the book, The One Thing, probably several times on the show before. And if you have not read it, I highly recommend it uh, by Jay Papasan and Gary Keller. I can link that up in the show notes if you want the link to get that on Amazon. So the one thing, we all know people, this is what I wanted to dive into. We all know people where you ask them, hey, what's up? How are you doing? And they're like, oh, I just got into crypto. Or I just got into real estate. Or, you know, real estate wasn't working, so I ended up switching what I was doing, right? Now I'm in insurance. Now I joined the, the loan side. I'm just thinking of my own industries and so on, right? The list goes on. So they switch so often that you don't know what the hell they do. I've had a few people like this. I think I connected with one guy and he was doing doing one thing and then he switched to something else and then like chatbots came out and then like all kinds of things. You're just wondering, what is this person doing? Are they even successful? And I get, I get it. I'm, I admire the hustle. I'm glad that they're trying, they're doing stuff, they're taking action, but they keep starting and stopping, starting and stopping. And by the time they gain any momentum, this kind of ties into what I just talked about on a recent episode. They're stopping three feet from gold. They may almost be there, but because they keep on starting and stopping, they give up three feet from gold and they move on to the next thing and they got to start all over from scratch. And so you need to take inventory of all the things you're doing. And I need to as well. I constantly suffer from shiny object syndrome. And I'm constantly looking at my whiteboard saying, Chris, that's a great idea. It doesn't need to happen right now. Put it down somewhere so you can get it out of your mind and focus on the key tasks at hand for you and your business. And I'll do that for my business as well. And so pick one thing and stick to it, right? That is extremely important. And in the recent conversation I had with Adam and Amanda New, it was kind of cool because Adam mentioned that, hey, for productivity and systems and automations, I'm their go-to person. They think of me. And that was because I was talking about systems at the event that we met at, how I've automated things. My business is relatively passive. A lot of the things happen from I've either delegated it or I've automated it. It was kind of cool that they thought of me in that way because I haven't really promoted myself as like productivity guru. I don't have courses and stuff around it. But because I've heard so many people compliment me on systems and process processes and procedures and finding virtual assistants and actually creating this amazing life and business, lifestyle business in a way, to combine those two words. It's why I've been following that thread. I've been following the breadcrumbs, sharing my scorecard, doing some training very soon on how I did it because I get a lot of questions on it and I sprinkle a few pieces in here and there during my podcasts, but why not just host a training and have everyone there at once, answer all the questions at the end, see what kind of questions people have instead of being peppered with Instagram messages where I can't necessarily answer all the questions one to many format. So what is your one thing? When you think of what it is that you do, what's your business? What's your offer? What is that one thing? You know, maybe one or two things because myself, I know I do a couple things. I've got a podcast. I'm a real estate expert. The productivity thing is where I'd like to lean into that direction a little bit more because my real estate business is in such a way that I develop the rapport. I do the initial consultation call with the clients and a lot of my team kind of delivers on the rest of the process, if that makes sense. Five stars, I've gotten all five star reviews from all my previous clients. And so I'm very happy to admit or to share that things have been going well. It's not like I'm just churning and burning, burning through clients to get the quick dollar. They are satisfied clients. But for you, what do people think of whenever they think of you? And again, I put this in parentheses in my notes, like hopefully it is actually something good. You don't want to be like the one person I'm thinking of. You don't want to be that one person who jumps around all the time and has the million things instead of the one thing. I've got certain friends, they've done what they do forever. And when I think, you know, my friend Nick with Apollo Optics, I've had him on the show. If I ever get a, a truck or a Raptor and I want to get it lifted and get new rims and tires, I'm gonna think of him because he's been doing that for years. He's been in the business for a long time. He's got connections, right? Same thing with me. I hope that when you need real estate help, you'll be like, oh yeah, Chris, he's got that cool podcast. and. There's examples of this every single day in all of our businesses. Another example, I've listened to the Real AF slash the MF CEO Project podcast 
The MF CEO was the old podcast from Andy Frisella. And then the, the newer stuff is called Real AF, Real Andy Frisella, or, you know, Real AF, if you know <laughs> what that stands for. Uh, try to keep PG on today's episode. But I never knew what First Form was. This, his company, his supplement company, huge company. I see their products in a lot of supplement stores that I've been to, but I just hadn't really been aware of it. I had never really heard of it. And now because I love his show so much, guess what supplements I have in my pantry? first form. And same thing happened with Quest Nutrition. I loved Tom Bilyeu's information, impact theory. He's made so much impact just by the amazing conversations, the amazing guests he's had on the show. So I've ordered a shit ton of Quest. Well, there I go. I said I was going to keep it PG and I didn't. So PG 13. <laughs> But um, top of mind awareness is key. Just think of the acronym TOMA or like the letters TOMA, T-O-M-A, top of mind awareness. If you are putting out consistent content and a consistent message and your bio says what you do and everyone knows what you do, they don't have to guess. You want to be that person like Nick with the trucks. When I think of trucks, when I think of new wheels, new rims, I think of him. When you hear about real estate and buying or selling real estate, I want you to think about me. When I think about supplements and you know vitamins, I think of first form now because I want to support the people people that I like who have provided me with so much value for free in exchange. Does that make sense? So that is your homework for today. If you don't have a one thing and I struggle with this, you know, I've been kicking around the idea of what is my one thing? Am I a productivity person? Am I a real estate person? So this is easier said than done, but the advice that I would give you is to just pick something. That's what I did. I picked real estate. I got good at it. I learned the processes. I stuck with it for several years. It's 2022 as of the time of this recording. And I got into this in 2018. So I've put some 10,000 plus hours of time and effort and energy into networking and learning and doing deals and helping clients. And so now I've achieved this level of expert status in my field. And I know that I kind of want to go in this direction with productivity. So I'm kind of I'm going that way, but I'm not sure how to toggle it personally between the real estate and the productivity side. So I'm doing both. So I'm not even really taking all the advice here to heart. So the one or two things, but when people think of you like Adam and Amanda knew when they thought of me, they know I'm in real estate and they know I'm big on productivity, right? So the more things you add to that list, the more difficult it becomes to remember you. If you do five different things, I'm going to forget because none of those things, it's almost like too many things means that you're not doing enough. And so it's like jack of all trades, master of none. If you try to do everything and if you try to dabble in too many different things, then you're not going to be seen as an expert to me, right? I'm not going to be able to take you seriously. But if you are that expert, if you are that master, if you've done that thing that you say that you do for years and years and years, that's who comes to mind, right? So again, that is your homework. Sometimes you just have to pick something. You can always change it later, but I would just caution you to not change it all the time because then you risk becoming that person that I talked about at the beginning of the episode who was in crypto and now they're in real estate and then they're in mortgages and now they're they're in insurance and look at them are they actually successful are they struggling to make it you know like if they're killing it and they're just prodigies amazing but chances are if they're jumping from one thing to the next they're not quite there yet and they're not really focused right so you don't want to be that person who seems undisciplined and unfocused to your friends, to your network, because they're going to be hesitant. If you say you do real estate, but you do 15 other things too, they're going to be like, man, I don't want to work with this person because they're going to be worrying about their crypto business or helping someone else with insurance instead of helping me buy or sell real estate, for example. So that is my message for today. I hope that it resonates for some of you. If you have not checked out the book, The One Thing, I highly recommend that you do. And I will drop the link in the show notes. And yep, that is all for today's episode. I will catch you on the next episode. Make sure to go to chrisbello.com slash free if you have not already gotten the scorecard. If you have not already signed up for the free Life by Design training, I'll be hosting soon. And I look forward to catching you soon on the next episode. Thanks so much. Oh, 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 o